Once again, it's time for Martin's Mighty Midnight Matinee Movie. Now, come on, everybody up. Up. Everybody up tonight. We have a real Jim Dandy picture for you. A television first. A real 100% talkie. Now, this picture is brought to you by the Colgate Palm Olive Company. Makers of Palm Olive Rapid Shave. It outshaves them all. Ajax. The foaming cleanser, action cleanser. And Halo, the shampoo that glorifies your hair. And Vel, it's marvelous. Last but not least, palm olive soap, mild and gentle, for a cleaner, fresher complexion. Thank you, Mildred. And now, <laughs> feature picture for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, it's a brand new foreign import. And here's the picture. <laughs> <It's defective. Exciting? Well, you bet it's exciting. <laughs> the next portion of our picture, ladies and gentlemen, is brought to you by the makers of Kralik Coffee. <laughs> Kralik Coffee, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> brand new... <laughs> brand new coffee. <laughs> and we suggest that you get Kralik Coffee. Real great coffee. Oh, gee. <laughs> This coffee, ladies and gentlemen, is the coffee with the flavor removed. It has no taste. No taste, so you can't form a habit. Now, friends, next time you're at your grocer's, don't just ask for coffee. Ask for Kralik coffee. Ask for it by name. And if you can't think of the name, ask for tea. <laughs> now back to our feature film, Egg Roll is a Many Splendid Dish, starring Japan's famous moving picture star, Tab Yataguchi. Here's the picture. Misa Toy Amuta. Show <laughs> <laughs> Friends, we'll be back to our picture in a few moments. Now, here's a dandy, handy gadget. Right here's a dandy, handy gadget, ladies and gentlemen. No higher swipe should be without this. How does it work? That's a very good question. How's it work? Mildred... Put in some nice, some beets, that's right. And put a few, some celery and uh, some 
carrots and uh, cucumbers and some potatoes and some turnips. Thank you. And another turnip, and I'll see you later. Uh, <laughs> now you just pressed a little buzzer. And you stopped the buzzer. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Open the handy dandy drawer, and we have instant garbage. <laughs> now back to our picture. Why can't we get to show more value? Oh, we tonight is the star of the picture you've been watching. Ladies and gentlemen, Japan's biggest star, Tab Yataguchi. What is, what, what's that mean? I'm nauseous. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, Mr. Yadaguchi, every time a, a foreign star visits our country, I ask them the same question. Now, tell me, what do you think of American women? Well, what does that mean? Uh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I had the privilege and the pleasure of witnessing the preview of Mr. Yadaguchi's latest picture, Rice Cake Jungle. And, uh, <laughs> it's a very good picture, and we make it in sukiyaki vision. <laughs> I talked to Mr. Yadaguchi on the overseas cable last week. He promised he would do a scene from the picture if I would assist him. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's the scene. Hacho. Hacho. God bless you. <laughs> this is Tokyo, city of intrigue. The plans for a new type airplane have been stolen and the suspect an international spy has been captured and is being brought into the office of the secret police for questioning. All quiet, quiet, everyone! Chief of police, come now! Makoto, Makoto, Makoto! Mark the toe. Mark your own toe. Shut up. <laughs> so, Mr. Cochetti, we meet once again, huh? <laughs> I, uh, very happy to have opportunity to talk to you, Mr. Cochetti. We have reason to believe that you are involved in stealing an important secret. <laughs> now, Mr. Corsetti, I am a very patient man, and I feel 
Mr. Corsetti, is that the best thing that we can do? <laughs> Wipe that smile off your face, Mr. Corsetti! <laughs> you see... Oh, pardon me, Honorable Grandfather! <laughs> you, Mr. Corsetti! Now, you see, Mr. Corsetti, I am a very, very patient man. And I like when people like me, when they say, Hiya, Tim Technical. How you feel, Technical? I don't like people not to like me, so you give me a straight answer. What about plans? I don't got no plans. <laughs> you have no plans? I got no plans for this evening, either. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's Mr. Cortetti? <laughs> Talking about plans for airplane. Airplane plans? That's, That's right, airplane plans. <laughs> what do you mean about airplane plans? Don't be too smart, Mr. Corsetti. If I don't get straight answer, you not walk out of here. You understand? <laughs> now, if in. If in. <laughs> Now, you must give me definite answer. You like to play ball? Yes. Okay, catch. Right. <laughs> Who's the Who won? There's a grounder. Oh, you want me to pick it? Yeah. Mr. Corsetti. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you would stand up when I talk to you. So much I owe you. Come aside. Come oh, aside. shut your mouth. <laughs> Mr. Corsetti, will you be good enough to, if you don't mind, of course, to empty pocket? Come, 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 empty pocket. <laughs> what your occupation? I'm a school teacher. <laughs> Summon I.O. Summon I.O. Salute. What this over here, Mr. Corsetti? Happens to be a yo-yo. What, you make fool out of cheaper police? This tea bag. Just see no yo-yo, this tea bag. We soon shall find out if you'll make fool of me. Some of them will my diet! Some of them! <laughs> we see what this is, yo-yo or tea bag. <laughs> me no fool. <laughs> that yo-yo, that yo-yo. <laughs> We have reason to believe that plans for airplane have been stolen on the 13th day of October this year. We have good information that all people that take plans from this... <laughs> what are you do there with God? Keep your eye on him! Watch the car! Watch the car! Shut your mouth! Get out of the way! <laughs> Shut the door out! We have all information here of your activities to last three and a half weeks when you arrive here. We know you went to a hotel, you check in, you met some friends, and if... Hey! Keep your eye on him, I'm gonna get killed here! Me crazy. <laughs> Mr. Bertetti, we have methods of finding out whether you have information of when we have methods here of torture to get information. In the event you pick one of these methods, <laughs> is he? <laughs> Will you keep your eye on him? He's gonna blow my brains out! <laughs> I'm a toy, son, I'm a guy, and you shut up too! Here's my 
methods of torture. You can have one from column A, two from column B. <laughs> Which torture you like best? I'll take B. Oh, you pick a doozy. <laughs> She want a beauty. So let them do what? So let them do what? She knew. Oh, Mr. Cochetti, you know this? We are very friendly with you. Friendly? That's right. And this is torture that you pick. We take leg, extend all the way out that way. So we'll do. <laughs> now we take this leg, extend all the way this way. <laughs> oh, easy, easy. What do I do now? Make a wish. Forget it! <laughs> All right, now, Mr. Cordetti, want to see more? I can be able to blow. Hold it. I'll give you the plans. Oh, give me plans. Right. We got plans. Right. We got plans. I'll give you the plans. Give me plans. Oh, we are plans. Oh, we are plans. So happy. So happy. I am best keeper of police in the whole world. Time now to sing happy song. Shao mu la ta yo. Shinu la ti yo ma la ta yi yo ma. Shinu ma la la jo ya da la da jo. Si ha ne me ta. I'm Randy Merrill. And because of my job, I have to shave twice a day. That used to be quite a chore until Palmolive Rapid Shave came along. Rapid Shave makes shaving faster and easier than ever before. So comfortable, too. All the ingredients you need for a smooth, close shave are right here in this can. Just press the top for instant lather. Rich, moist, and creamy. Spread with your fingertips and shave. No messy brush, no greasy cream. Rapid Shave outshaves lather or brushless cream. It outshaves them all. Naturally, Rapid Shave is America's number one shave. It outsells them all. Lather or brushless creams, all other pressure shaves. Once you've tried Rapid Shave, I don't think you'll be satisfied with any other shave of any kind. Rapid Shave is fast, easy, comfortable, economical too. Get Palmolive Rapid Shave. It outshaves them all. <laughs> Ajax, the foaming cleanser. New Ajax now contains a new bleach, plus a special brightener. So use Ajax, the foaming cleanser. New Ajax removes more stains than liquid bleaches. Get rid of stain, just like a whiz. And Ajax brightens faster than other leading cleansers. You'll stop paying the elbow tax. Their stain-removing bleach. In Ajax. Ajax works easier than any other household product. So use Ajax, the foaming cleanser. Floats dirt and stain right down the drain. Remember, foaming action Ajax contains a new bleach. Not only removes more stains than liquid bleaches, but Ajax has a special brightener. Ajax brightens faster than any other leading cleanser. So use Ajax. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm only drinking because I'm a little nervous. Well, what are you nervous about? Afraid they might run out of liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, there's nothing to be nervous about. Mother's giving this engagement party for us, and, well, all these people here are our friends. Sweetheart, all these people here are your friends. I don't know half of these people. Well, why didn't you invite that friend of yours that you're always talking about? Uh, what's his name? Sidney. Sidney, I, I could, he couldn't, he hasn't got a tuxedo, he can't come to these places. Oh, 
May I have your attention? <laughs> I have a divine surprise for you. You know I'm the patroness of the arts, and I have prevailed on the international violin virtuoso, Misha Vladny. Oh, oh what a yeah. So would you all please? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, no more, darling. No more. That's all. Chair and sit down. Will you sit down? Get a chair. <laughs> Get a chair. There's an extra one over there. That was used. the virtue rose roll there. I, I came over to congratulate you, Dean, for marrying a rich girl. Oh, stop. <laughs> must be Sydney. This is Sydney. I'm Sydney. This is Sid this is Miss Cartwright, my fiance. Hello, I'm glad to know you and make well acquaintance. Well, if you're a friend of Dean's, then you're a friend of mine. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're friends, all right. We grew up together, pals and buddies and all that. And we used to steal fruit from push carts together. Ah, that's a long time ago, I'm telling you. Long time, wasn't it, Sydney? Yesterday. <laughs> well, you see how it, how it worked? Dean used to talk to the... I 
got a peanut in my neck. Well, don't bother me with a peanut in your neck. I can't help it. It's stuck in my neck. Hit me on the back, man. Get your hands off me! Would you please keep your eye on my bike for me, baby? No. Thanks. <laughs> Sit. Just stay away from everybody. That's what we'll do. Look. Why, did I do something wrong? Did you do something wrong? You did everything wrong. Look at you. Look how you're dressed. You're dressed like a loser. I didn't invite you here because it, this isn't your kind of people. This is high class. You don't fit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I'm your friend. I know, but you don't belong here, Sid. Well, I'm here now, so maybe could I stay, huh? Stay. Be nice. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dean, could I, could I get a piece of fruit? You'll eat later. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Be hungry later. I'll forget. I'll remind you. <laughs> Now watch the virtue reroute, Seal. doing you should be ashamed of yourself ashamed i am i am oh uh, ashamed <laughs> don't help don't help me help me <laughs> will you sit down sit will you sit down and watch the nice man play the violin you mean the virtuoso yeah the Don't you see, I made an Sydney, accident. Sidney, I don't want to have them throw you out of this party. You crashed the party in the first place. You don't belong here. Now, look, if you continue to embarrass me, my girl won't talk to me. She'll call off our engagement, and I'll be right back at the candy store. Well, that'll be good, Dean, because tomorrow Jaime has a sale on broken pretzels. <laughs> Sidney, there comes a time in every man's life when pretzels become unimportant. Pretzels, frozen Milky Ways, popsicles, lasagna sickles, with... with, with with Lorraine, it's the real thing. Look, I even bought her an engagement ring. Look at that. Look at that. Thing. Hey, it must be serious. That's a real ring with a hole in the middle for the finger and everything. Beautiful. Isn't That's it? nice. Let me see. Oh. 
What did you do? I, I dropped it in the pot. Oh, get it. <laughs> well, I just wanted to help. Oh, get it. Martin, your hand is in the punch bowl. Oh, well, Sidney wanted a drink. I just thought I'd give him a drink. <laughs> you said a cup of soup, No, you don't care. Thank Hello. you very oh. much. <laughs> oh, Miss Cartwright, I, I don't believe I met your old lady. Oh, lady. Excuse me. This is my mother, Sidney. Hello, Sidney. That's my name, Sidney. No, no, no. <laughs> Sidney, this is her mother, Mrs. Cartwright. How do you do, Mrs. Cartwright? I'm glad to see you. Hey, what are you doing here? I told you to watch my bike. Jack! Oh! <laughs> uh, Mrs. Cartwright. Wait, that was my fault, Mrs. Cartwright. I see what you're doing to me. I'm sorry. You know what you're doing. No, it was my fault. I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. The ring? The ring? Gotta take the whole ring. See if it's in it. It's not here now. I got an idea. Look, we'll go to the people with the drinks and we'll look and see if they got it in there, right, Kane? Huh? Yeah, that's all right. All right. <laughs> and also, you ready? Whenever you say. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Mr. Thomas, about the golf game that we're about to have uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Yes. You remember the date no, that I, I had with sorry, the fortune? Now forget no, the whole thing. It's all right. Oh, uh, excuse me, Mrs. Cartwright. I was just thinking of something. You know, when we were over there before talking, I thought... Oh, Miss... no, you know, why did you catch me? Uh, uh, no, that, that was my fault. Let me explain. I told him to take your drink, you see, because you're, you're going to be his mother-in-law, and I don't think he wants you to be a boozer. Jim! <laughs> <laughs> I told her good, didn't I, about the drinking? Uh, yeah. uh, may I have your attention, Lorraine? Mr. Cartwright and I have invited you here tonight for a very special occasion. The engagement of our daughter, Lorraine, to Mr. Dean Martin. Oh, the girl that I'm going to marry. I'd like to wish you the best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> hey! Ah! What was this hitting me for? Well, I was doing... Everybody... Dinner, dinner. Why'd you hit me so hard for? Dinner, dinner. I was only kissing her like everybody else was kissing the bride, and you had to hit me right away. You hit my whole head. I think I'm bleeding a little. Thank you. Don't you think it would be nice if my fiancé sat next to me? <laughs> Don't you think that would be proper? Let Lorraine sit here. Yeah, but I'm your friend. I want you to be... I don't care if you're my friend. I want Lorraine to sit here. Lorraine, uh, Miss Cartwright, Dean wants you should be here, so I'll change places with you. But take your dirty silverware with you. <laughs> Wait a minute, maybe I should sit near my friend. Yeah. Why don't you two change with her? And then oh, I can sit there. Yeah. No, you two sit there, and you sit on the back, and I'll sit over. No, you two move down, and then you come around, Dick, with another car. Huh? Everybody move, I tell you. No, wait a minute. Move around. All the women. All the women move around here. Keep going. That's it. Turn around. Move around. That's it. Well, where are you going? What did you hurt? What are you doing? Do You're you know what bending you're doing? the material. <laughs> you know, this isn't the candy store, Sydney. This is a social gathering for ladies and gentlemen. That's why I didn't invite you. Invite? I didn't invite you in the first place. You just don't fit here. On the corner, you belong with the fellas, but not here. You don't fit. But you see, I just came over because Dean, I... Dean, I must talk to you. Well, yes, honey? Your friend has ruined our party. I've never been so humiliated. Well, I'm sorry about the whole thing. I just like to... How dare you expose us to this? <laughs> well, let me explain a thing there, honey. Please. How can you possibly explain ill breeding, lack of manners? Why, your friend is common. Common! 
Got something? No. I just remembered something. To hit me again? No. I'm not going to hit you, Sydney. No? No. But you were right. I, I spoiled this whole party and I don't belong here. I guess I'm not the right kind of people for That's this. That's what I realized, too. Why? I don't belong here myself. Well, then we'll go and see Jaime for the broken pretzels, huh? You sure will. I feel better. I was sad there for a minute. We'll always be friends. You know something? That's good. Tell me all about it. We're two lost souls. On the highway of life We ain't even got A sister or brother But ain't it just great Ain't it just grand We got each other Two lost souls That's all that we are One of us sings the other is jerky, but to us we'll stick through thin or through thick. Like Alvin and Kirky, it's Jerry and Dean. Oh, no! And no one in between. Like, let's say Gallagher and let's say Sheen. Of course, we complain. We Fuss and strain. But after the fussing, there's always us and now we're two lost souls, each wedded to each. We go hand in hand in all kinds of weather. On a bottom or top, a hit or a flop. It's both together. We got each other, we got each other, each boat together. Halo, lovely lady, halo. Oily, greasy, soapy shampoos leave dulling, dirt-catching film. Halo glorifies your hair naturally. Leaves it cleaner, softer, brighter than any oily, greasy, soapy shampoo. Liquid, cream, or lotion. Just watch. Oily, greasy, soapy shampoos coat each strand of hair with sticky, dirt-catching, dulling film. But now see what happens with Halo shampoo. Because clear liquid Halo contains no soap or greasy oils, nothing to interfere with cleaning action or leave dulling film, Halo glorifies hair naturally brings out all its clean, bright beauty with each shampoo. Yes, Halo leaves your hair cleaner, softer, and naturally brighter than any oily, greasy, soapy shampoo. So, Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo, shampoo, Halo. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say that it's very seldom in television that we have a time problem or that we don't figure the time correctly. I don't feel too bad about it because this is a chance I've been waiting for. <laughs> Anyhow, you see, when you have a certain amount of time, you do certain things. But it seems that there's a three-minute gap that we need, and uh, they asked me to fill it, and I'm glad because for years I tried to sing my kangaroo patrol song, Pouches Forever Beaver Patrol 303, and I would like very much <laughs> to do that now. Uh, because this is with the time. I only got three minutes, so I'd like to do it for you. I'd like to have some music, and I'll go all set. Mr. Lewis, will you get on your mark, please? <laughs> Who that? It's Bob Finkel, the director. Would you please get on your mark? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Finkel. Uh, uh, we didn't rehearse, you see, ladies and gentlemen, this particular part, so if we get a little mixed up, you'll have to excuse us. Uh, I guess this is where I mean. So here's the number that I... Lewis, you take two steps to the left. Please cooperate. <laughs> Two. 
steps. Left, please. Oh, I didn't say may I. I'll have to go back. <laughs> well, anyhow, this, I guess this is the place, ladies and gentlemen. Now, will you move all the way down front? I, what? Move all the way down front. Forward. Down front. How's this? All please. right, over here? Is this good? What are you getting me crazy? I don't care how we do it. Let's just, let me stand regular, nice. You can use a brownie here for all I'm concerned. <laughs> you know, let me just do the number. I have just so much time, Mr. Finkel. So, uh, thank you very much. I, I, I'd appreciate it if you'd just let me do the number that way. So, if I can just have some music, I... <laughs> Would you mind standing on your mark? <laughs> Not over there. This is your mark right here. The director told me. Would you mind standing on your mark? You Mr. See? Finkel, say, he gives me orders. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Please stand on your mark. Thank you. But stand before, on your mark, yes, please. I'm, 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 a, I'm a little mixed. I don't have too much time here, Mr. Finkel. And, and uh, be like your dad, Bill Finkel, good pictured man. You know, you're really fighting me this time, boy. <laughs> okay, so here's the number that I think. Oh, heavens to Betsy, not again. <laughs> this, this, not over there now, no. All right, then this spot here, fine. Mr. Finkel, if you don't mind, just let me do the number. I have so much time. Look, you do your job, I'll do mine, all right? You know what I mean, buddy? a boy. Just work back there, let me do this, and I, I'm sure I can do fine with it. What do you, just mind your business. I'm putting it very plain. You embarrassed me on the air? Shut up for two minutes. Let me do this number here. You know how ill I am from this whole thing? <laughs> anyhow, I would like to do the number. I shouldn't have yelled at him. I'm sorry. He's got a union, this union. They all have unions, and I'll never hear the end of that. But I'd like to do this song that I think that you'll enjoy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> well, I don't mind. I'll, I'll do the number. I'll do the song right from here. It, it makes no difference to me because a song is a song, and I enjoy... <laughs> Would you mind bringing this down here and leave it right here, please? This is a song that I think that you'll Whether enjoy. Whether you like it or not, your time is up. The song is out. It ain't out. I'm yes. doing a song. How do you like that? You took all the time moving me around. I wouldn't have had to... I could have sung four songs with yelling and technicians. I'm doing the song now. Now, here we go. This is the... Wow! <laughs> can't a woman be right sometimes? I didn't say you're wrong. I just said I don't understand why Val is right for your dishwashing and your wash day detergent isn't. It's simple. Val makes dishes shine without washing or wiping. If a bit of food clings, my dishcloth fix it off. But there's no detergent burn to hands with Val. If I put Val in my hand, it feels cool. My wash day detergent feels hot. Well, if you can feel it, as a chemist, I should be able to demonstrate it scientifically. Come on in the lab. I put your wash day detergent in one glass and, Val, in the other. Look, the wash day detergent is sending the temperature up, but Val isn't. You're right. There must be irritating alkalis and harsh chemicals in this wash day detergent that cause that temperature to rise. But this certainly proves there's nothing in Val to make the temperature rise. Like I said, there's no detergent burned to hands with Val. For dishes and my hands, it's marvelous. <laughs> I love that song. That's the nicest number with such a beating. It dum bum ba dum ba dum bum ba do. Ba do ba 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 do ba do. Glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Except I ain't talking to you. How do you like that? Now, you know you need a shave. That's my hair. Here's the face. I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to you. Well, why? You did a number. Answer true. Do you swear to tell the whole truth to help you, Peter? Yes. Okay. You did a number just here with a with a group. Well, everybody does a number with a group. I know everyone does the number with the group, but why that one? It happens to be my little group. That's yeah, why. my little group. You could have had. I could have had my little group on the show. You... What did you think of asking me? No. <laughs> you just went ahead and got fellas. I got a group I'd like you to sing with. They you can... have a group. <laughs> Do I have a group? Do you? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> oh, really, I really I'll have, and yeah. I sing well, at the I'll... Elks with them and everything, and if you will do a number with them, they'll sing just anything, and it'll be the most sterling arrangement of all time. 
Well, if you want me to sing with your group, just bring them on out here. All right, fellas, come on out. We'll do the number. This is terrific. You see, any number that you want to do, these fellas can do, and they're wonderful. They sing good, and they know numbers. You know, about two weeks ago, we did a show and uh, for the Boy Scouts, and they sang an awful lot of songs for them. And it's just a little group, and you sing whatever you like to sing. That's all. <laughs> so whenever you, you like, you can get this started. This is a group? <laughs> for the country. What are you doing to me? No, this is my... Now, how can a bunch of fellas like that sound good? What are you, crazy? A little rhythm vamping, and you'll see how nice this sounds. Listen carefully. How are you? Mother isn't too well since the accident. Oh. <laughs> Everybody ready? Here we go. Well, that sounds pretty. It's a nice group, ain't it? I, I arrange... We dance a little bit, too, sometimes. Well, can I just... Sing any song? Any song, whenever you're ready, we'll sing with you. Oh, good. They'll follow. Yeah, they'll follow. Whatever you do, they'll follow. Sometimes I'm happy. boo ba boo I'm Joan Leslie. Which of these two women could be you? One cleansed her face the ordinary, casual way with any soap or cold cream. But this cotton pad reveals hidden dirt and makeup left behind by ordinary cleansing. The other cleansed her face the palm olive way. And the pad reveals no trace of hidden dirt. Proof that her face is palm olive clean, deep down clean. Yes, the palm olive way does remove hidden dirt that robs your complexion of beauty. Doctors prove you can have a cleaner, fresher complexion the very first time you use palm olive soap. Palm olive is so mild, it lets you clean cleaner, clean deeper, without irritation. Prove it yourself. Massage your face with gentle palm olive for 60 seconds. Rinse, pat dry, and test for hidden dirt. See? Your face is palm olive clean, deep down clean. 
Get mild, gentle palm olive soap for a cleaner, fresher complexion today. Thank you very, very much. We'd uh, also like to thank the Norman Luboff Choir for doing such a wonderful job. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank the producers of Damn Yankees for allowing us to do Two Lost Souls. And ladies and gentlemen, we would like to say a hi to little Gracie O'Connor, a wonderful little gal in Pleasantville, New York, who is our fan club president. Thank you, Gracie. And above all, please, ladies and gentlemen, remember the Muscular Dystrophy Associations. This entire month, Firefighters all over America will come to your doors. Your neighbors will come and call for money. Please give so that 135,000 doomed children will at least have a ray of hope. We certainly would appreciate it. You go now. And don't forget, folks, next week, watch the Colgate Variety Hour with the Harvest Moon Ball winners in Chicago. And we want to wish the best of luck to Irving Cupson, a wonderful columnist in Chicago, with the Harvest Moon Ball. We would like also to say that our director, Mr. Bob Finkel, producer Ernie Glucksman, Dick Stabile on the music, Artie Phillips and Harry Crane, everyone did a wonderful job. We can only say good night, God bless you, we'll see you soon. Not all. Norm by Fuzzy. Two Lost Souls from the Broadway production, Damn Yankees. Also seen in tonight's cast were Isabel Elsom, Milton Frome, Byron Kane, Evelyn Lovequist, Torben Meyer, Frank Mitchell, Patty Peterson, and Terry Lee.